I am Radha Krishna, mathematics teacher. Today we are going to continue our topic indefinite integration third lecture, right. Let us first recap some of the formulae discussed in the last uh, 10 minutes of the previous lecture. Trigonometric substitution, in trigonometric substitution we already discussed if the integrand is in terms of a square minus x square, we substitute x is equal to a sin theta or we may also substitute x is equal to a cos theta. And if the integrand is in terms of a square plus x square, we have to substitute x is equal to a tan theta or a sin h theta. If the integrand contains the terms of x square minus a square, we substitute x is equal to a secant theta or a cos h theta. I have also explained about sin h x and cos h x, sin h x is e power x minus e power minus x by 2 cos h x is e power x plus e power minus x by 2. And we have also discussed some relations between sin h x and cos h x. Now, the formula in integration are integral 1 by root a square minus x square is equal to sin, a, sin inverse x by a plus c. We have already proved it in the previous lecture. 1 by integral 1 by root over a square plus x square dx is equal to sin h inverse x by a or log x plus root over x square plus a square. We have proved this. And similarly, integral 1 by root x square minus a square dx is equal to cos h inverse x by a or log x plus root over x square minus a square plus c. Next, some more results. Integral 1 by x square plus a square dx is equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c. Integral root a square minus x square dx is equal to x by 2 root a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a plus c integral root a square plus x square dx is equal to x by 2 root a square plus x square plus a square by 2 sin h inverse x by a plus c. Of course, we can write sin h inverse x by a as ln of x plus root x square plus a square. And root integral root x square minus a square dx is equal to x by 2 root x square minus a square minus a square by 2 cos h inverse x by a plus c and this cos h inverse x by a can also be replaced by ln mod x plus root x square minus a square. So, these are the results in trigonometric substitution. All of you need to remember each and every formula thoroughly. Now, let us solve some problems on these results and proceed further. Problems integral 1 by root 4 x square plus 12 x plus 13. First, we convert this quadratic expression into x square plus a square or x square minus a square or a square minus x square form. Let us see. <coughs> 1 by square root of we can write 4 x square as 2 x whole square and 12 x is 2 into 2 x into 3. These two are in the form of a square plus 2 a b. So, if you have b square there then we can write it as a perfect square. What is b square? 
3 square that is 9. So, separate 9 from this 13. So, it is plus 9 plus remaining is from 13 if you subtract 9 remaining is 4 dx. Right. Now, the sum of the first three terms can be expressed as a perfect square. 1 by square root of this will be 2 x plus 3 whole square. Plus remaining is 4 we can write 4 as 2 square plus 2 square dx right. Now, <coughs> if any linear term is there in the integrand we can assume it as x later we can divide by the inner derivative of that linear term. So, assuming that this is x it is in the form of 1 by root over x square plus a square. What is the formula integral 1 by root x square plus a square is equal to sin h inverse x by a plus c or ln mod x plus root x square plus a square. Okay. Here we are assuming 2 x plus 3 as x. Later we will divide by the derivative of the 2 x plus 3 that is 2. Now, if you assume this is x 1 by root over x square plus a square its integral is sin h inverse x by a means 2 x plus 3 by 2. Then we should divide by derivative of 2 x plus 3 2. So, we will get into 1 by 2 plus c or we can write it as half into ln of 2x plus 3 that is x. We assume 2x plus 3 as x now x plus root over x square plus a square means this square plus this square that is the given expression. So, we can write 4x square plus 12x plus 13 plus c. Okay. Next question. integral 1 by x square plus x plus 1. You convert this denominator into x square plus a square form. What will you get? 1 upon we can write x square is a perfect square write x in the form of 2 a b. 2 into 1 by 2 into x. This to what a square plus 2 a b then if you have if you add b square it becomes a plus b whole square. What is b square 1 by 2 whole square that is 1 by 4. Then separating 1 by 4 from 1 what will be remaining 3 by 4. So, plus 3 by 4 dx. Now, the first three terms will form a perfect square. It is integral 1 upon x plus 1 by 2 whole square first three terms plus we can write 3 by 4 as a perfect square root 3 by 2 whole square. So, plus root 3 by 2 whole square dx. Now, you can assume this linear term x plus 1 by 2 as x, then it is in the form of 1 by x square plus a square. What is the formula? Integral 1 by x square plus a square dx 
is equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c. Here this is x, this is a. So, its integral is 1 by a means 1 by root 3 by 2 that is 2 by root 3 tan inverse x plus 1 by 2 by root 3 by 2 plus c. Then you will get 2 by 3 tan inverse simplify it multiply numerator and denominator by 2 you will get 2 x plus 1 by root 3 plus c. Okay. Next question integral square root of 2 x square minus 3 x plus 5. In case of 1 by square root of a quadratic in the uh, previous questions, we converted this a quadratic into x square plus a square or x square minus a square or a square minus x square form. Same method for integral square root of a quadratic. We should convert that quadratic into x square plus a square or a square plus x square x square plus a square or x square minus a square or a square minus x square form. For that, this is not a perfect square. So, we take 2 common from the quadratic. If 2 comes out, it becomes root 2 because square root is there. Square root of x square, you should divide by 2, x square minus 3 x by 2 plus 5 by 2 d x. Now, as we did in the previous questions, we have to write second term in the form of 2 a b. First term is a square, it is a perfect square, x square is a perfect square, we should write second term as plus 2 a b or minus 2 a b. Root 2 integral square root of x square minus how to write this as 2 a b second term write this 3 by 2 as 2 into 3 by 4 into x this is a square this is 2 a b a square minus 2 a b. So, we should add b square so that it becomes a perfect square what is b square 3 by 4 whole square 3 by 4 whole square is 9 by 16. So, plus 3 by 4 whole square, then we should uh, subtract 3 by 4 whole square from this 5 by 2. So, I will write 5 by 2 minus 3 by 4, 3 by 4 whole square is 9 by 16 dx. Now, first 3 terms will be perfect square it is root 2 integral square root of first 3 terms will become x minus 3 by 4 whole square. What is the remaining taking 16 LCM? You will get 8 into 5 40. this is uh, 40 minus 9 31 plus 31 by 16 right dx. Now, it is clearly in the form of x root over x square plus a square. If you take this as a square, then a will be root 31 by 4. You can write this as root 31 by 4 whole square. Okay. Then, its integral will be what is the formula? Formula will be uh, root over integral root over x square plus a square dx is equal to x by 2 
root over x square plus a square plus a square by 2 sin h inverse x by a plus c, this is our formula, right. Now, applying this formula here, we get root 2 into what is x by 2? x minus 3 by 4 by 2 square root of x square plus a square that is x plus x minus 3 by 4 whole square plus a square is 31 by 16 plus a square by 2 this is a square, a square by 2 is 31 by 32, 31 by 32 sin h inverse x by a, x by a is x minus 3 by 4 upon what is a, this is a square, so a will be root 31 by 4. bracket close plus c. Okay. Now, if we simplify multiplying this, this by root 2, root 2 into uh, this square root will be the given expression. So, we will write this, this as uh, multiplying dividing, you know, uh, multiplying dividing by 4, you will get 4 x minus 3 by 8 into square root of this into this is the given quadratic expression square root of 2 x square minus 3 x plus 5 plus root 2 into 31 by 32 will be 31 by 16 root 2 into sin h inverse Multiplying numerator and denominator by 4, you will get 4x minus 3 by root 31 plus c. Okay, this is the final answer. Next question integral 1 by square root of 2x square minus 3x minus 5. This is similar to one of the previous questions, we should write this quadratic x as a perfect square, but for writing uh, the quadratic as a perfect square, you should take 2 common as we did in the previous question. Taking 2 common in the square from the quadratic, you will get 1 by root 2 integral 1 by square root of this becomes x square minus 3 x by 2 minus 5 by 2. Okay. Now, as usual we should write this as 2 a b then 1 by root 2 integral 1 by square root of x square minus 2 into 3 by 4 into x, then we should add 3 by 4 whole square that is 9 by 16 and subtract 9 by 16, uh, we will calculate separately minus 5 by 2 minus 9 by 16, how much you will get? Minus 49 by 16. Okay. 
minus 40 minus 49 by 16. So, you will get minus 49 by 16 dx, right. Now, first three terms will be a perfect square 1 by square root of 2 integral 1 by square root of x minus 3 by 4 whole square. What is this? Uh, 49 by 16 can be written as 7 by 4 whole square. So, minus 7 by 4 whole square dx. <coughs> now, how is it? 1 by root x square minus a square form. What is our formula? 1 integral 1 by square root of x square minus a square dx is equal to cos h inverse x by a plus c or we can write it as a logarithmic function. x is this and a is this, x is x minus 7 by 4, x minus 3 by 4 and a is 7 by 4. So, let us use that formula 1 by root 2 into cos h inverse x by a means x minus 3 by 4 by 7 by 4 plus c. On simplification, it becomes 1 by root 2 cos h inverse multiplying numerator and denominator by 4, 4 x minus 3 by 7 plus c that is the final answer ok. Now, next question integral root over 1 minus x minus x square it is similar to uh, the previous previous to previous question. <coughs> we should write this in the form of a square plus x square or a square minus x square or x square minus a square. Let us see how since we have minus x square, we take minus common first. <coughs> we first write it as square root of 1 minus of x square plus x because x square coefficient is negative. Then we should write x square plus x as a square plus 2 a b 1 minus square root of 1 minus x square is a perfect square. So, leave it as it is and how to write x as 2 a b 2 into 1 by 2 into x. Then this is a square plus 2 a b then we should add b square. What is b square? 1 by 2 whole square. Then how much you have added totally minus 1 by 4 we have added. So, we should add 1 plus 1 by 4 to this 1. What is 1 plus 1 by 4? It is 5 by 4. So, this 1 becomes 5 by 4. Okay. So, we have modified the given quadratic in this form. Now, it is integral square root of we can write 5 by 4 as root 5 by 2 whole square minus this is a perfect square. What is it? x plus 1 by 2 whole square. Now, it is in the form of root over a square mi minus x square. What is our formula? Integral root over 
a square minus x square dx is equal to x by 2 root over a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a. This is our formula. <coughs> Only for x square minus a square, integral root over x square minus a square will have minus sign here and here you will get cos h inverse. Okay. Now, applying that formula, x by 2 means x plus 1 by 2 by root 5 by 2 into square root of this a root over a square minus x square, we can replace this by the given expression, this and this are same. So, I will directly write 1 minus x minus x square plus a square by 2, a square is 5 by 4, a square by 2 is 5 by 8 sin inverse x plus 1 by 2 by root 5 by 2 plus c. Now, you simplify, you will get 2 x plus 1 by root 5 into square root of 1 minus x minus x square plus 5 by 8 into sin inverse of what we will get here 2 x plus 1 by root 5. plus c. So, this is the method of integrating a function of the form 1 by square root of a quadratic or square root of a quadratic. Okay? Now, another question in which approach can be slightly different. <coughs> if alpha, in, alpha is less than beta, evaluate integral 1 upon root over x minus alpha into beta minus x. Actually, multiplying these two, it becomes a quadratic. But in the previous questions, the coefficients are numericals. Coefficients are given, but here the coefficients will be in terms of alpha and beta. So, it will be, uh, will, it will not be comfortable for us to uh, write it as a perfect square. So, we can try a different approach in this question. Integral 1 by square root of x minus alpha into beta minus x dx. We can put one of these two factors as t square, so that it becomes 1 by square root of a quadratic expression directly in a simple form. Let us see how. I will put x minus alpha is equal to t square. Put x minus alpha is equal to t square. Differentiating on both sides, we get dx is equal to 2 t dt. Then you will get integral 1 into dx is 2 t dt by square root of x minus alpha is t into square root of beta minus x, beta minus what is x? Alpha plus t square. So, beta minus x will be beta minus alpha minus t square. Now, t cancels. Since alpha is less than beta, beta minus alpha is positive. So, we can now write it as 2 integral. We can write this 2 
outside the integral integral d t upon square root of you can write beta minus alpha as root beta minus alpha whole square minus t square. <coughs> now, it is in the form of integral 1 by root over a square minus x square. What is the formula? Sin inverse x by a. So, its integral is 2 into sin inverse x by a is t by root beta minus alpha plus c. What is t? Root x minus alpha. So, it will be 2 sin inverse root x minus alpha by beta minus x beta minus alpha. See how comfortably we have solved it by putting x minus alpha is equal to t square otherwise we have to multiply these two and uh, we have to convert into a perfect square you try that method it will not be comfortable. Okay. So, remember this approach and Now, integration by partial fractions. In the previous class, we have discussed uh, one result integral 1 by x square minus a square dx is equal to 1 by 2a log mod x minus a by x plus a. How? We can write 1 by x square minus a square dx as you can factorize the denominator x plus a into x minus a. Then 1 by x plus a into x minus a dx we can write numerator in terms of x plus a and x minus a. How? We can observe the difference of these two is independent of x. What is the difference 2a? So, we write numerator as x plus a minus of x minus a which is 2a. Since we have multiplied by 2a, we should divide by 2a, right. Now, denominator x plus a into x minus a dx. Now, separating the denominator 1 by 2a integral, this by this is 1 by x minus a minus this by this is 1 by x plus a. So, we have resolved this 1 by x square minus a square into two fractions. We have expressed it as difference of two fractions or we can ex sometimes express it as a sum of two fractions. These are called partial fractions of 1 by x square minus a square. So, this method is called integration by partial fractions by expressing the given integral into sum of partial fractions we integrate it. Now, both integrals are known you know that integral 1 by x is ln mod x. Since this is linear this is linear any linear term can be assumed as x and integrate. After that we should divide by inner derivative 2 here inner derivative of x plus a is 1 inner derivative of x minus a is also 1. So, what will be the integral 1 by 2 a into integral of 1 by x minus a is ln mod x minus a. Its inner derivative is 1 only. So, no need to divide minus integral of 1 by x plus a is ln mod x plus a 
plus c log a minus log b is log a by b. So, we get it as 1 by 2 a ln mod x minus a by x plus a. All of you should, should remember this result as a formula. Okay. And similarly, the same can be expressed as integral 1 by a square minus x square dx is equal to 1 by 2 a ln mod a plus x by a minus x. You, you write numerator as a plus x minus of a minus x. Now, a plus x uh, here numerator can be expressed as a plus x plus a minus x and divide the denominator factors of denominator then you are going to get this. Okay. Next. In <coughs> integration of partial fractions, one model is integral of a function of the form 1 by x minus alpha into x minus beta. If the integrand is in this form, we have to express this as a sum of two partial fractions just like one, uh, 1 by x square minus a square we have expressed it as a difference of two partial fractions now. We can express this as sum of two partial fractions. In the previous question in the previous uh, derivation we observed that 1 by x plus a into x plus a. Uh, let us uh, take only function. If you take this function, we can express it as 1 by x minus a minus 1 by x plus a into 1 by 2 a. Then we have integrated, these are called partial fractions. Similarly, if the integrand is in the form of 1 by x minus alpha into x minus beta, first we assume it as sum of two partial fractions in the form of some constant a by x minus alpha plus another constant b by x minus beta dx. Just see that there we got some 1 by 2 a by x minus a minus 1 by 2 a by x plus a. Similarly, this can be resolved into sum of two partial fractions in this form. Okay. Now, <coughs> let us take one example. integral one upon x plus one into x minus two okay for resolving this integrand into partial fractions we assume it as a by x plus one plus b by x minus 2. First we assume like this. Now, how to find the values of a and b? There are two methods. One method is if you directly equate these two, this integrand is equal to this integrand. Then cross multiplying by denominator we get this 1 is equal to this into a by x plus 1 that will be a by a into x minus 2 plus b into 
this b by x minus 2 into x plus 1 into x, x, x plus 1 into x minus 2, it will be b into x plus 1. Okay. We get this. Now, for finding a and b, we compare the coefficients. Comparing the coefficients. This should, this should be equal to this for all values of x. So, it is an identity. So, coefficient of x in the LHS is equal to coefficient of x in the RHS. What is the coefficient of x in the RHS? Here a plus b, a plus b, here 0. So, a plus b should be 0. Now, compare the constant term, term independent of x. Here minus 2a, here plus b this is the term independent of x. In the LHS, what is the term independent of x? This is 1. Then we have to solve. Subtracting, we get this minus this is 3a is equal to minus 1, a is equal to minus 1 by 3. Then a plus b is equal to 0, so we get b is equal to plus 1 by 3. Then we have to substitute here. This method is bit lengthy. We can calculate a and b in a shortcut way. Here instead of comparing the coefficients, for getting the value of a, make the coefficient of b 0. If uh, for what value of x it becomes 0, x is equal to minus 1. So, putting x is equal to minus 1 on both sides, LHS is 1 constant and RHS will be minus 1 minus 2 into a that is minus 3a. So, we get a is equal to minus 1 by 3 and for getting the value of b you make the coefficient of b coefficient of a 0 for what value of a for what value of x this becomes 0 x is equal to 2. So, putting x is equal to 2 LHS is 1 RHS this becomes 0 for x is equal to 2 this becomes b into 2 plus 1 3b. So, 1 is equal to 3b, b is equal to 1 by 3. This is bit easy to find a and b. Okay? So, either you can follow one first method comparison of coefficients or second method substituting some values and identifying the values of a and b. Right? Now, after finding a and b, what is the integral of 1 by x plus 1 into x minus 2. <coughs> I will write this is equal to what is the value of a you got minus 1 by 3 by x plus 1 plus b is 1 by 3 by x minus 2 then integrate minus 1 by 3 into integral of 1 by x plus 1 is log mod x plus 1 minus 1 by 3 log mod x plus 1 plus 1 by 3 into log mod x minus 2 plus c, right. Now, simplification taking 1 by 3 common, 
you will get log x minus 2 minus log x plus 1, log a minus log b is log a by b. So, I will write log a by b means mod x minus 2 by mod x plus 1 plus c. Okay? But in objective type problems, we can directly tell the values of a and b without any much calculation. If you want value of a, you observe the denominator. For what value of x this denominator is 0, x is equal to minus 1. In the LHS, you cover this x, x minus x plus 1 and put x is equal to minus 1 in the whole LHS. Then what will get 1 by minus 1 minus 3, how much minus 1 by 3. Similarly, for getting b, make this denominator 0. For what value of x? x is equal to 2. You cover this corresponding factor x minus x minus 2 and put x is equal to 3, uh, sorry, x is equal to 2 in the remaining whole numerator, uh, whole LHS, 1 by 2 plus 1, that is 1 by 3. So, immediately you can write this step from this step in object to type problems. But in subject to type problems, you need to show some steps. You, can, you are not supposed to write this step directly. Okay? Right. Now, in further problems, uh, in some problems I will uh, calculate by equations and some problems I, I will directly write the partial fractions in this shortcut way. Next, if you take integral 1 by x minus alpha into x minus beta into x minus gamma, the approach is same. We will take this as sum of partial fractions a by x minus alpha plus b by x minus beta plus c by x minus gamma. This can be expressed as sum of 3 partial fractions because denominator has 3 linear factors. Now, our job is to calculate a, b, c. To calculate a, b, c, we can follow the shortcut way. For getting x minus, for getting capital A, Denominator is 0 for x is equal to alpha now. So, you cover x minus alpha and put x is equal to alpha in the remaining, in the whole expression. You will get the value of A. Similarly, for getting B, you cover x minus beta and put x is equal to beta in the remaining. Similarly, C. Let us see one example. Integral 1 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 dx. Here directly you can write it as partial fractions a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2 plus c by x minus 3. you assume partial fractions. Now, to find the values of capital A, capital B, capital C, for capital A, you cover x minus 1 and put x is equal to 1 in the remaining. What you will get 1 by 1 minus 2 into 1 minus 3, how much? 1 by 2. So, A will be 1 by 2. Now, B, for B, we have to put x is equal to 2 making this denominator 0. Cover x minus 2 and put x is equal to 2 in the remaining. 1 by 2 minus 1 into 2 minus 3. It will be minus 1. B is minus 1. Similarly, C. Cover x minus 3 and put x is equal to 3 in the remaining. 1 by 3 minus 1 into 3 minus 2. It is uh, 1 by 2. Okay, just to will check 1 by 1 minus 2, the 1 by 2. Hmm. Now, directly we can write the integral what is the integral of 1 by x minus 1 log mod x minus 1. So, it is 
half log mod x minus 1 next is minus 1 into log mod x minus 2 plus 1 by 2 into log mod x minus 3 plus c you can directly write the answer in one step ok the value is correct uh, putting x is equal to 1 1 by 2 x is equal to 2 2 minus 1 2 minus 3 minus 1 putting x is equal to 3 1 by 3 minus 1 ok next suppose you have some numerator then also we can follow the same approach integral x square plus x plus 1 upon x plus 1 into x minus 3 into x minus uh, 5 then you check whether it is a proper fraction or improper fraction how to check the degree of numerator should be the should be less than the degree of denominator then it is called a proper fraction what is the degree of numerator here 2 it is a quadratic degree is 2 degree of denominator is 3 so it is a proper fraction if it is a proper fraction the method is same we take it as partial fractions a by x plus 1 plus b by x minus 3 plus c by x minus 5. Now, for finding a, b, c same shortcut way for getting x is equal for getting capital A put x is equal to minus 1 covering this putting x is equal to minus 1 we will get numerator as 1 minus 1 plus 1 1 by denominator is minus 4 into minus 6 1 by 24. So, a is 1 by 24 for getting b you cover x minus 3 and put x is equal to 3 in the remaining then you will get 9 plus 3 plus 1 13 by 3 plus 1 4 into 3 minus 5 minus 2 minus 13 by 8. So, this is b is minus 13 by 8. Similarly, you calculate c, then directly you can write the answer a into 1 by 24 into log mod x plus 1 plus minus 13 by 8 into log mod x minus 3 plus c you calculate into log mod x minus 5. Okay. This is the approach for uh, an integrand in which denominator is x minus alpha into x minus beta x minus gamma even if numerator is some quadratic or even if it is a linear term. Okay. Similarly, for any number of factors in denominator we can follow this shortcut way. Other, otherwise, you have to cross multiply by the denominator and compare the coefficients and calculate a, b, c. Next, model 3 integral p x plus q by x minus alpha into x minus beta just now I have explained p x plus q is having degree 1 denominator has degree 2. So, it is a proper fraction. So, we can take partial fractions in the same way we have to take the partial fractions as We 
we have to take the partial fractions as a by x minus alpha plus b by x minus beta. For calculating capital A and capital B, you follow the same shortcut way. Take one example, integral 3x plus 2 by, I will take x square minus x minus 2. You observe that denominator can be factorized as 3x plus 2 by what are the factors x plus 1 into x minus 2 immediately you can factorize then you take the partial fractions a by x minus a, a by x plus 1 plus b by x minus 2. I will calculate a and b directly and write the partial fractions. What is a covering this and putting x is equal to minus 1 in the remaining? How much you will get? Minus 3 plus 2 minus 1 by minus 1 minus 2 minus 3. Minus 1 by minus 3 is 1 by 3. So, 1 by 3 by x plus 1 and now cover x minus 2 and put x is equal to 2 in the remaining. What you will get? 6 plus 2, 8, 8 by 3. So, b is 8 by 3. So, plus 8 by 3 by x minus 2 dx. Now, what is the method? 1 by 3 into log mod x plus 1 plus 8 by 3 into log mod x minus 2 plus c. That is all. Next, another model. If the integrand is p x square plus q x plus r by x minus alpha into x minus beta into x minus gamma already have explained. It is a proper fraction. Already we solved one example. Okay. So, proceed to next model. Suppose the integrand is f of x by x minus alpha into x minus beta, where f of x is a polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 2. If the numerator f of x is a polynomial of degree less than 2, it is a proper fraction, we have already discussed the method. If the numerator is a polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 2, then it is called improper fraction. Then how to integrate? Let us take one example. I will take 2 x cube minus x square plus 1 upon x minus 1 into x minus 2. Numerator is a cubic polynomial, degree 3. Denominator is quadratic. So, it is improper fraction. So, we cannot just take the partial fractions as a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2. In addition to those two partial fractions, in addition to the partial fractions a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2, you will get some linear term because difference of the degrees is uh, 1. If the difference of the degrees is 1, you will get a linear term. If the, different, if the degree of numerator is equal to degree of denominator, you will get an extra constant. If the difference of the degrees is 2, then you will get a quadratic extra. Okay. Now, here difference is 1, difference of the degrees is 1. So, you will get some linear term extra. So, I will take uh, the linear term as some L x plus m. L x plus m. Okay. We can calculate L directly as 
the leading term means the term having highest degree in numerator divided by the term having highest degree in denominator. What is the term having highest degree in denominator? If you multiply leading term is x square, then 2x cube by x square will be what? 2x. So, this is going to be 2x. you will get 2 x. Then, we can find a and b, we will calculate them later. We can calculate a and b in the same way as previous questions. For getting a, you cover this and put x is equal to 1 in the remaining. What you will get uh, covering this x minus 1 and putting x is equal to 1, 2 minus 1 plus 1 by 1 minus 2 minus 1. So, it is minus 2, a is minus 2. Okay. Now, b cover this x minus 2 and put x is equal to 2 in the remaining. Then you will get uh, this is 16 minus 4 plus 1 by putting x is equal to denominator is 1, uh, 13. So, b is equal to 13. Right. Now, how to calculate m? After getting a and b, it is very simple to calculate b, uh, calculate m you these two are equal for any value of x now you can substitute any convenient value as you wish it is your choice uh, i am com comfortable with x is equal to 0 so putting x is equal to 0 what is the lhs numerator is 1 by minus 1 into minus 2 1 by 2 it is equal to putting x is equal to 0 in the RHS, you will get m plus this is uh, minus 2 by 0 minus 1 plus 2, 13 by minus 2, minus 13 by 2. Then m plus 2 is equal to, if it comes this side, 14 by 2, 7 m is equal to 5. So, actually I have not written the integral, I wrote this expression as partial fractions, sum of partial fractions. So, now I am writing the integral and dx, right. Now, we calculated m is, m is equal to 5, so it is integral 2x plus 5 minus 2 by x minus 1 plus 13 by x minus 2. Now, finish it by writing the integrals of each terms. What is the integral of 2x? x square. Integral of 5, 5x minus 2 into integral of 1 by x minus 1 log mod x minus 1 plus 13 into 13 by 13 into log mod x minus 2 plus c it is finished. So, this is the approach for improper fractions same approach for f of x by a product of 3 linear terms. Okay. When it is improper fraction, depending on the difference of the degree, you take some extra terms, either only constant or some linear term or quadratic term. I will show more examples. Suppose, you have x cube by x plus 1 into 
टू एक्स प्लस वन इंटू थ्री एक्स प्लस वन आई विल जस्ट एक्सप्लेन द मेथड ऑफ रिजॉल्विंग इंटू पार्शल फ्रैक्शन लेटर इंटरग्रेशन इज डायरेक्टली बाई एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द फॉर्मुला नाउ डिनोमिनेटर हैज थ्री लीनियर फैक्टर्स सो यू हैव टू टेक थ्री लीनियर फैक्टर्स लीनियर थ्री पार्शल फ्रैक्शन ए बाई एक्स प्लस वन ओके फॉर दिस प्लस बी बाई टू एक्स प्लस वन प्लस सी बाई थ्री एक्स प्लस वन ओके नाउ वॉट इज द डिग्री ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर थ्री डिग्री ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर इज ऑल्सो थ्री डिग्रीज आर इक्वल वेन द डिग्रीज आर इक्वल यू विल गेट जस्ट कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म एक्स्ट्रा के एक्स्ट्रा ओके यू कैन गेट दट कॉन्स्टेंट डायरेक्टली बाय डिवाइडिंग द हाइएस्ट डिग्री टर्म्स इन न्यूमिनेटर इन डिनोमिनेटर वॉट इज द हाइएस्ट डिग्री टर्म एक्स क्यूब हियर एक्स क्यूब डिवाइडेड बाय इन द डिनोमिनेटर x into 2x into 3x, 6x square, 6x cube. What are you getting? 1 by 6. So k will be 1 by 6. Rest is as usual. How to calculate a, b, c? Covering this and putting x is equal to minus 1. Then uh, finding b, covering this and putting x is equal to minus 1 by 2. Finding c, covering this and putting x is equal to minus 1 by 3 in this whole LHS. Okay. Next, suppose this is x power four. Then the numerator and denominator differ in degree one. When the degree difference is one, you will get one linear term extra in addition to those partial fractions. So you will get some l x plus m. You take the Extra term says l x plus m. Then you can get l x in this method. What is this method? Dividing the highest degree terms. In numerator x power four, in denominator highest degree term x into two x into three x six x cube. You are getting x by six. So this l is one by six. So you will write x by six plus m plus those partial fractions. first you find a b c then for finding m you put any convenient value like x is equal to 0 and find m later integration is just application of the formula okay now i am proceeding to another method integration of rational functions first model 1 already we have been doing these uh, rational functions we have been integrating integral 1 by ax square plus bx plus c if the integrand is in this form first you should try to factorize ax square plus bx plus c if it is factorizable then you will get integral of 1 by sum x minus alpha into x minus beta you may get some constant also extra then what is the method partial fractions we have already discussed if it is not factorizable if ax square plus bx plus c is not factorizable then we should write ax square plus bx plus c as a perfect square we have to write it as 1 by x square plus a square form Or one by x square minus c square form. Then, if it is in this form, where capital X is some linear term in small x, capital Y is constant. What is the integral of this? One by y tan inverse x by y. You can write. If you get it in this form, what is the formula? 1 by 2a log mod x minus a by x plus a. We have already discussed that formula. So these three are the methods. First, you try factorization. If it doesn't work, then you write it like this or like this and integrate it. Okay. Let us take 
one example. Integral 1 by 2 x square minus x minus 1. First, let us try to factorize it. How to know whether it is factorizable or not? Simply check the discriminant. If the discriminant is a perfect square, it is factorizable. Factorization means expressing it as a product of rational factors. What is the discriminant? B square 1 minus 4 a c is plus 8, 1 plus 8, 9, perfect square. So, factorization is possible. Even if you get discriminant positive, if it is not a perfect square, we say that it is not factorizable. It is not factorizable as rational factors. So, here discriminant is 9, so it is factorizable. You know how to factorize it, factorization cannot be explained here. So, I will directly write factors. You will get 1 by Two x plus one into x minus one. Okay. Now, what is the method? Partial fractions method. You take it as a by two x plus one plus b by x minus one. Then find a and b. For finding a cover 2 x plus 1 and put x is equal to minus 1 by 2. 1 by minus 1 by 2 minus 1 that is 1 by minus 3 by 2 or minus 2 by 3. So, a is minus 2 by 3. Finding b, cover this x minus 1 and put x is equal to 1 in the remaining, you will get b as 1 by 3. So, what is the answer? minus 2 by 3 into what is the integral of 1 by x 2 x plus 1 log mod 2 x plus 1, but we have assumed 2 x plus 1 as x and we use the formula for integral of 1 by x. So, what should we do? We should divide by the inner derivative. Inner derivative of 2 x plus 1 is 2. So, this by 2 plus 1 by 3 by x minus 1, what is the integral? 1 by 3 into log mod x minus 1 plus c. Now, we can simplify little bit, 2 cancels, you can take 1 by 3 common, if you take 1 by 3 common, if it becomes 1 by 3 into log a minus log b form, that is log a by b you will get log of x minus 1 by 2 x plus 1. Plus c. So, this is our answer. Now, let us take one more example where denominator cannot be factorized. Example 2. Here, if you check the discriminant, discriminant is uh, I think negative, b square minus 4 a c is negative. So, factorization is not possible. Then what is the method? We should write the denominator as a perfect square, means in one of the two forms x capital x square plus capital A square or capital x square minus capital A square. Okay. For expressing this as a perfect square, First, we have to separate this 2 because 2 x square is not a perfect square. So, I will write this as the given question is 1 by 2 x square minus 3 x plus 5. Now, separate 2 from the first term. That means, taking 1 by 2 common, 1 by 2 integral 1 by x square minus 3 x by 2 plus 5 by 2 dx. 
already I have explained the method of expressing a quadratic uh, as a perfect square in the previous questions. Here we have to write 3 x by 2 as 2 into 3 by 4 into x and we should add 3 by 4 whole square and subtract 3 by 4 whole square. So, I am going to write this next step directly 1 upon x minus 3 by 4 whole square plus here 5 by 2 minus 3 by 4 whole square 9 by 16 it is 31 by 16. Okay. Now, it is in the form of 1 by x square plus a square where x is linear term. What is the formula? 1 by a tan inverse x by a. This is a square. So, a is root 31 by 4. So, 1 by 2 into 1 by a, 1 by a means 1 by root 31 by 4 tan inverse x minus 3 by 4 by root 31 by 4 plus c. Then you will get 2 by root 31 tan inverse what will you get? 4 x minus 3 by root 31 plus c. Okay. Next, one more example method is same, you try to express this as a perfect square. Then here you may get uh, 1 by x square minus a square I think. What is the discriminant? 16 minus 4 a c minus of uh, plus 12, 4 into 3 12 minus of minus 12 plus 12. So, we are getting 28, discriminant is 28 which is not a perfect square but positive. That means, roots are irrational. In this case also, we say that it is not factorizable. What is the method? it is equal to first separate 3, 1 by 3 integral 1 upon x square plus 4 x by 3 minus 1 by 3 Okay. Now, by writing perfect square 1 by 3 integral 1 upon x plus 2 by 3, this is 2 into 2 by 3 into x, no? x plus 2 by 3 whole square here minus 1 by 3 minus of 4 by 9, uh, you will get minus 7 by 9 which is in the form of 1 by x square minus c square. What is the integral? For integral 1 by x square minus a square, I will write the formula here. Integral 1 by x square minus a square is equal to 1 by 2a log mod x minus a by x plus a. You can remember the formula comfortably when you solve, when you practice more questions. Okay. Now, x is this, a is, this is a square, a is root 7 by 3. So, 1 by 3 into 1 by a means, 1 by 2 a means 1 by 2 into root 7 by 3 
log mod x minus a means x plus 2 by 3 minus root 7 by 3 by x plus a x plus 2 by 3 plus root 7 by 3 plus c. Simplify, final answer is 1 by 2 root 7 ln mod 3x plus 2 minus root 7 by 3x plus 2 plus root 7. Okay. So, with this uh, time is up, uh, I am going to close the session for today and we are going to continue our class fourth lecture in indefinite integration tomorrow and we are going to solve more questions on irrational functions and also uh, some more models in irrational functions. Okay. So, have a good day. Thanks for watching. We will meet tomorrow.